So why don't we start with just what's coming up for you this week? Um, well, uh, I would say that probably a good place for us to start is uh, that he has recently had sex with four of my close friends. Here we go. Here we go. They're not yeah. even your fucking they friends, They are my friends. You don't get to They're not fucking, her friends. She no, talks shit about them all the time. You don't get to fucking decide who's my... They're and then you try to excuse Love them by saying that you wanted brother, to start right? an orgy. That she did. I didn't fuck You're your on brother. Christmas. I fucked his on half Christmas. brother. Okay. And she fucked well, him the whole way. Christmas, I don't care if he's I wanted to fucking finally have sex with somebody who's not wearing my fucking underwear. It's okay. This is it. This is what I'm saying. This is saying if your vagina wasn't so fucking greedy as like Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors, like the hungry... Hanging Shut up! Plant, the you can't even consider it. Usually, it's all this time. Really it's all this time. They, they, like, you know what gets me hard? You know what gets me hard? A little help yeah. around the house. I'm yeah. taking you out the trash. Gets, 87 it gets times you hard this year. 87 times. How do you think times. I feel oh, okay. when I fucking okay. pick your pew? Uh, good. Um, it's really good work. Um, so I think that in moments like this uh, with, with a couple, um, it can be courageous to consider um, space. Um, yeah. What do you? What does that mean? Yeah. Well, just uh, just some distance can be good. Give you some time to think uh, on your own. Um, you know, so that you can, you know, really reflect. Like yeah. not like not talk or right. like. Like, like a, sit further apart. What do you? Um, a break. You know, just think of it as a break. Like, yeah. Like break up. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Break. Like we should break up. Right. That's why we're here at a couple's therapy well, sessions. That's why I'm fucking well, paying you, know, you for us, this sliding scale bullshit. When you leave therapy, uh, and and then you can go your separate. Ways. I could have told myself that. Yeah, now I'm dude, a fucking therapist. I'm gonna fuck you. I don't see a ring on your finger. You yeah, probably, you, shit well, you show probably don't even have a fucking boyfriend. Like, I love I, this I, woman. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm here Shut for this me, separate. I love just you. like that. Oh. That's not why I fucking. I'm a feminist, and it is really important to me. But I gotta tell you, you are a cunt. cunt. A cunt. It is bad enough hearing that word from a man, but to hear it from a woman. Supposedly one of my sisters, you know, in it, in the fight with me. It was just, it was too much. I mean, I hear that word, it, it fucks with me. It fucks with me, especially when I'm here trying to help them. Trying to, and why? Why these people? Why are they deserving of my help? Their problems are so boring. You know, I used to write poetry. Yeah, I used to be surrounded by artists and now I'm just surrounded by dissatisfied, sexually frustrated millennials who can't get their shit together. You know, I just want to tell them, fix yourselves, fix yourselves, you know? And, and then it takes so much energy to just not kill them. You know what I mean? Just strangle them. Really, I mean, really, I think about the pillow over the face. I think about it. I think about that a lot. I do. I go to you, a lot of help you are, just sitting there nodding. Oh, isn't that convenient? It's time, huh? It's time. 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 It's always just, I'm always in imposition. God forbid I have any fucking feelings, right? Fuck you! It's over, Will. You hear me? It's over. I'm taking the kids to Santa Cruz. Don't try to follow me. I'm leaving with Brad. I love him. He knows how to be more than a voyeur to his own life. I tell you to be happy, but I don't think you ever knew how.
and he just shot himself right in the parking lot. And it, it's just such a selfish thing to do. It's like, what about me? What about my day? How am I supposed to go on? How am I supposed to celebrate my birthday now? How am I supposed to celebrate my own life knowing that people are out there in parking lots killing themselves, taking their own lives? Yeah. What does that feel like? All he cares about is killing himself. I need to end my life. It's just disgusting and I can't relate to it. I can't relate to it at all. But there's that. things that you just should do in private. And I think die is one of them. I think sometimes in these situations of crisis, it's good to allow us to reflect on our own lives, to use the opportunity to see where we're at inside of ourselves. Blood is all over the window. It would have gotten on my sweater if the window was open. That's how close I, I was, and it was horrible. This could be an opportunity for you to open yourself to love more deeply, to bring a partner into your life. I don't know. I don't know how to move on. Maybe I should call an event planner. Open yourself up to create, to manifest, to expand your intention, to bring that romantic partner into your life. I think love is the only thing that can heal this. Yeah, love. It is the only answer. <laughs>